Before we get started, just remember that polyatomic ions are ions with more than one atom. So again, like binary compounds, there's two ways to go about this. I can give you the formula and ask for the name, or I can give you the name of the compound and ask you for the formula. For this one, we're gonna start out with the formula and ask for the name. So if this is our example right here, the first step is going to be to name the cation. Okay, name the positive. And it's always written first, so it's always gonna be on the left. And it could either be a metal or a positive polyatomic ion. In this case, it's Al, which is a positive metal, and that's aluminum. Step number two is going to be to name the anion. Remember, that's the negative one. The non-metal anions use the same rules as binary compounds, where you add the IDE, and polyatomic ions get named as is. So in this case, SO4 is your polyatomic ion. You look that up on your list, and it's sulfate. So when you put the two together, your answer is going to be aluminum sulfate. So a couple more examples here. You have NH4Cl. NH4 is going to be your cation, and the name of that is ammonium. The Cl is going to be your anion, and that's gonna follow the binary rule, so you're gonna add IDE to the end of it, and it's gonna be chloride, so it's ammonium chloride. Your next example is NH42SO4. So for this example, the NH4 is going to be your cation, and that's ammonium, again. And the SO4 is going to be your anion. You look that up on your list, it's sulfate. So your answer here is ammonium sulfate. So it doesn't matter what you do, just look at your list and identify those polyatomic ions as needed. So let's move on to giving you the name and asking you for the formula. So our example here is lithium nitrate. So step number one is going to be identify the chemical symbols and charges for both the anion and the cation. So Li is a plus one. And look at your list. Nitrate is an NO3 with a negative one charge. Step number two is going to be cross the charges and make them into subscripts like you did with binary compounds. So it's the same step. So you cross those two ones, and remember that ones are not written, so we're gonna take those out. We're gonna squeeze those two together, and your answer for lithium nitrate is LiNO3. Something important to remember is that polyatomic ions must stay together, so that three in NO3 is part of nitrate, so that needs to stay together. Some more examples, magnesium phosphate, so Mg is a plus two charge, you look at your list, and phosphate is PO4 with a negative three charge. When you cross those two uh, and get rid of the symbols, it's Mg3, PO4, two. Don't forget to put your parentheses between the four and the two. Another example is aluminum phosphite. Remember it's not phosphite, not phosphate. Aluminum is Al plus three, and phosphite is PO3 with a negative three charge. Cross those uh, charges, and here we have two threes, so we're gonna simplify that and get rid of the two threes. Remember, just like in the binary ones, you still have to simplify the subscript, but you leave the polyatomic ion intact. So that three that's attached to the PO3 is gonna stay there, and then you don't really need the parentheses anymore. Created using Powtoon.